Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I got a couple quick things. On, on the uh, Carl Road deal, I'm, I just drove up overnight from Alabama, and I've been covering this thing for the last couple of years. And I was just curious to ask you while well, I've got you here, on the, uh, do you have a clear indication of when this interview is going to take place with Carl Road? The interview has been scheduled. I, I, that, that you can't tell us when. I, I cannot give you any And are you satisfied there's been some criticism in our quarters of the deal that was made with Carl Road about whether or not this is under oath or not? Can you tell us? The, are you satisfied the, that this is going to be something that's under oath that's going to be on the record? We, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are satisfied by those terms uh, quite specifically. When this issue came up, the only offer that we could get from the prior administration was essentially an informal chat, as, as, as Chairman Hines put it, it would be like inviting Mr. Rowe to go down to fishing ships and chatting a little bit and see what happened. This will be the first and on the record, fully transcribed. Every word will be transcribed and available not just for the committee, but for everyone in the public city. Second, it's being conducted under the penalties of 18 U.S. Code Section 1001, which makes it a crime to lie to Congress or even to withhold information that would produce material misrepresentations. Now, I can't state what, what truth will not be told by witnesses, and we've seen many times in the past that failures of recollection often occur, but we are satisfied that those conditions, as were the same conditions that were done for the Department of Justice in terms that the credible undertaking, will be sufficient. We also have the, um, the agreement also makes it very clear that I think that the chairman absolutely insisted on it could have been a deal with the committee was that the agreement says quite specifically that it was not completely a possibility of appearance. And that may yet happen. We can't evaluate that at this point because we obviously want to see what happens with this. Can I ask one more thing before I leave you? Uh, on the warrantless wiretapping, considering the New York Times recent sort of little break in that, I consider it a little break. I've been covering this issue for five years. Uh, and, and, but no, they, everybody notices it when it's the New York Times. Can you, can, you, uh, can you say what the committee thinks about is this, is this continuing on a massive scale? And what would you say to people who think they are a subject of this? Do you have any advice for them? Who should they talk to? I try to talk to the ACLU in Alabama, but they got their four issues they're working on and they can't and quite got around to it yet. We've, well, got, we've sure. got the Google Earth Virtual Alabama system yeah. in Alabama, which is the most invasive intrusion of privacy, as far as I'm concerned, in history. Well, you may want to go, frankly, to the National Institute, which has brought a lot of lawsuits. I've talked to them. Them. There are a number of other uh, public interest organizations, one of which I used to work for, uh, that is that, that are interested in, in these kinds of issues. Uh, we, unfortunately, because of the classification restrictions, I can't say hardly anything about the specifics. But our members were quite concerned about that story, as the story itself indicated, and this is instead publicly, uh, the intelligence committees, which have primary oversight jurisdiction, have been engaged. And investigations. I can say that we have contacted the NSA, we have gotten some information, we will continue to do that, but unfortunately I can't really say much more. But we're concerned about it.